So in, in my videos um, on shape analysis, I have focused um, on geometric morphometrics. I've touched a little bit on more traditional methods, but mainly just to speak about the advantages of geometric morphometrics. But it really is important um, when possible to use both methods in conjunction with each other. This is because, well, there's a number of different reasons really. Um, you can't in the field use your coordinates, like they're of no use to a field researcher. Also, um, if you want to describe a new species, you, you would need to include these things in the diagnosis. Um, and also when you're trying to distinguish between um, different species or populations, and um, maybe you're producing like a dichotomous key, things like that, then you really need them as well. So when I talk about traditional morphometrics, um, I'm talking about linear distance measurements, so you know, done on a caliper, or you could do them um, from a computer off a photograph. Uh, meristic counts, which are discrete um, counts, so things like uh, the number of spines, the number of scales, and then also angles, so um, the head angle or, or the gape angle. So uh, I'm going to go through the basic methods of how to do these, if anyone has any interest in that.